Hey guys, Dal Phoenix here, and just taking a little walk out in the park. As you see here, just like uh, just like I do on occasion. Uh, but anyways, so I decided I want to come on here and uh, talk about Diablo 3. You know, Diablo 3 just came out. Uh, finally, you know, almost 12 years after the uh, last Diablo game. You know, if you don't count expansions or whatever. Uh, if you do, it's like 11 years. So. But anyways, um, yeah, it's finally out on store shelves, or you can download it off of Blizzard's website or whatever. Can't get it off Steam or anywhere else because Blizzard loves as much money as possible, so you have to buy it the means that they say you have to buy it. Which is kind of ironic because they would be more profitable selling it on a source like the Steam than they would on a retail shelf, but, you, you know, they have to have that retail presence anyways. Uh, but, um, yeah, Diablo 3. Uh, obviously getting really good reviews so far. Uh, I'm not really sure why, though, other than the fact that it's Blizzard. You know, I mean, I have haven't played the game personally, but I've heard a lot of bad things about it, like with these server crashes, and um, that the fact that the game hasn't changed much. Most of the changes, apparently... Diablo 2 fans aren't too happy about like with the way the leveling system is now you can't customize the stats the way you want uh, when you pick a class you're pigeonholed to stay in that class kind of um, yeah kind of disappointing stuff but uh, if you look at the reviews uh, the websites love it IGN still hasn't reviewed it for some reason but yeah they all love it but what's interesting about this, though, is that it took them a while to get a review out. And it's strange because it's not like the game is long. After all, there was, like, some Korean players that beat it together in four hours. <laughs> so it can't be that long of a game, you know. I mean, granted, I'm sure that's not the first playthrough. And I'm sure that's also, you know, like they probably will play on the easiest difficulty or something, I'm sure. But, yeah, still, that's pretty short for an RPG. Um... You know, I, I'd probably say a fair estimate is probably like five times that, I'm sure, which still would be kind of short, but at least that'd be tolerable. But um, regardless, it's obvious that the game's not really exactly a long game, so why the hell is IG not have a review up? Well, apparently, um, you know, there's no, no confirmed things about this. This is, of course, speculation that I came up with. Um, Blizzard decided they were too cheap to give out any review copies. So, everybody had to wait until the day it came out to buy the game uh, from the store shelf. Because Blizzard didn't want to give them a free copy. And, uh, yeah. So, um, so that's part of the reason why you didn't see any reviews of the game for the first entire day. It wasn't until, like, the middle of the second day that you saw any reviews. So, Blizzard obviously not out to get any fence sitters like me, you know. People that... We're considering getting the game, but they wanted to see what everybody said about it. You know, what the final word is. Um, and, obviously, uh, there's a lot of changes, apparently, with the classes uh, that, that a lot of people didn't like. Um, I think I've already mentioned that. I don't know. But, because uh, this is actually the second attempt recording this video. But, yeah. Um, I mean, if you guys played it, let me know what you think. Um... Server issues aside, of course, you know, I mean, server issues suck ass. Uh, but I hear that, for the most part, it's under control now. Um, I guess the main reason why the server issues would suck ass is because the game has DRM locked you to being connected online just to even play the single player, which really sucks. Um, even, uh... Well, the video decided to cut out, so I was going to go back to the, the next point. Even StarCraft II uh, didn't require you to be DRM locked. I think it did require you to connect to activate the game, but that was it. You know, once you did that, you were done. So, I mean, if you really had no internet access, you could just sign up for a dial-up account for a little while just to do that, you know. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, Diablo II, or Double, Diablo II was a really good game. I really liked it back in the day. Um, it is what it is, you know, a hack and slash RPG, random dungeons, tons of loot, you know, it's a game of, uh, I guess, uh, guilty pleasures, uh, not exactly a story-based game, but 12 years have passed 
since Diablo 2 came out. Um, just from what I've seen so far, I'm not really that impressed uh, with uh, with what they did with it. Um, and a 12-year gap. I mean, it seems like almost that maybe the game wasn't even developed over that long of a period. Like, maybe it was really only developed like over a two- or three-year period. Like, they probably started development on it after World of Warcraft. And, uh, they probably figured World of Warcraft was going to die out after three years or so. You know, not like completely, just, you know, the fan base as a whole. But instead, it just kept growing, so they obviously pushed back their other projects, and, you know, because why bother releasing other games where World of Warcraft makes enough money for you? So, um, but yeah, anyways, it looks like a game from the past. It looks like a game that would have came out in 2007 or, or something like that as far as the gameplay mechanics and graphics and all that good stuff. Uh, the graphics kind of lost their identity. It's no longer Diablo, it's World of Warcraft with the gamma turned down. So anyways, that's all I gotta say about it. Let me know what you think about Diablo 3. If you think it was worth the wait or if you think maybe Blizzard should have spent more time or release the game sooner or something. Uh, but anyways, Down Phoenix out.